Hello, people of YouTube and all my adoring fans. Can stop laughing. I want to do a follow up on my uh, fake Spyderco Karambit here. The Karahawk. That's what it was supposed to be. Um, I found out when I tried to switch the clip to this side originally that there was no threads here. So. It got me thinking, did Spyderco fuck up? And then I started really examining the knife. And that's when I noticed that the belt clip here was silver as opposed to the Kara, the, the real Karahawk, which is black. So, I didn't really notice it. And then I started looking at the grind line right here. You can see how it's not even. See how it's kind of crooked, kind of wavy. They did a better job on this side than on the, I guess you call that the front side. I don't know. And my first suspicion was when I first got it, Spydercos are notoriously sharp. Um, when you get a brand new Spyderco, they're so sharp if you look at it the wrong way, you cut your eyeball. You know, they're like psycho sharp. But it required a touch up on the strop. Then, of course, the clip. Then I noticed tonight the grind line. And then the color of the clip. So it's not a spider coat, it's a Chinese copy. But is it a good knife? Do I like it? Well, yeah, I do. Uh, I contacted Ken and asked him what he thought I should do about the clip. Because, you know, being a karambit, a folder with a wave feature right here, you want the clip. And I'm right handed, obviously, so. I want the clip on this side. Uh, so, with no threads, I'm wondering, well, what should I do? He suggested taking the, the clip off of this side right here, where it was originally, dropping three drops of uh, JB Wells, what he recommended, but I ended up getting some Gorilla Glue. This is what I used on this piece. You get it at Walmart, it's like five bucks. And uh, you get two of them. So what I did, I dropped, dropped in this hole, in this hole, in this hole. Then I also put some around the seal, around this little flat part right here. You see how it's right here, up under here, it's kind of um, flush against the G10 plastic. So <clears throat> what I did, I pressed down with uh, a, a precision screwdriver. Now what happened was when I first put these in there it was loose but my uh, my boss man Jamie, he's a guy I work with at work, informed me that this glue would probably expand a little bit which it did. So it made it perfectly, you know, fit perfectly once I got it set. So I'm holding it down, you know, with the screwdriver for like 10, you know, 10 or 15 seconds like the instruction said. And then I let it sit overnight. Now, it said to leave it alone for 24 hours. I'm not a patient man, so I figured, you know, 12, 14 hours would be good to go. I was right. So I had it on my pocket all day at work, you know, when I give it, you know, when I got a moment to, to myself so where I wouldn't scare anybody, I would do the wave, test it out, you know. I showed Jamie how you know how it worked, how he was right that the glue he suggested this is what he suggested I use on this particular project, and it worked you know great. Now, uh, looking at the knife up close, you can see where the the bolts have really gotten. Come on, stupid! You can see where the bolts have gotten like discolored because I put. Uh, Super glue. My phone will not focus for anything like that. And they were this color. But they kind of got dark a little bit. So, but, you know, small price to pay. It's on the side I want it on now. It's, uh, you hear that? That's, that's me flicking it up. And the glue is holding it. You know, it's in four different positions, locking it completely down. And then to really get it set, 
I also put a few drops on the top here. So, you know, it's sealed here in, in the holes where the bolts are. And then it's sealed here to the plastic. And then, because the glue expands a little bit, I put it around here. So there's no play in this at all. Now, now obviously, if you really get a good hold and you just give it all you got, you're going to break it off again. But just sitting, you know casually in your pocket and you're going up not against the um the glue which i don't think it would even go anywhere so let's give it a go shall we <clears throat> i'm gonna try to not kill myself all right ready good to go no no play no looseness, nothing. So it got me thinking, I fixed that knife. And I remember I had another Spyderco that the screws went missing. I wonder how it worked on this. This is an authentic Spyderco that I got years and years ago. Still need to clean up the blade and I gotta repair the tip here. But, uh, you notice that this one doesn't have any screws in it at all. It's just held on with, with that, with that Gorilla Glue that I got. Now, let me close the blades. I don't want to risk cutting myself when I'm doing this. That's me trying to flick it up. There's no bolts or anything holding this on. It's just straight super glue to from the flat part to the the metal here i didn't do it because it looked pretty i did it so it'd be functional that's all i had this knife when i was younger so i really wanted to preserve it so now all i gotta do is uh repair the tip because it did round off somehow i never sharpened it so this was way before my uh my belt sander days. It's still pretty damn sharp. And that's just like glue stuck to the, you know, from cutting tape at work and stuff like that. So that'll polish off with some oil and, you know, some Windex and some alcohol and stuff. But Gorilla Glue is amazing for projects like this. Now, I'm sure JB Wells does great too. They just didn't have the kind I needed at my store. Now this kind of made a mess because I did it on this before I did it on that so I could practice. So the job on here isn't as clean as the job, you know, on this one. Because this is my new baby and even though it's a fake, I still like it a lot. So I wanted to do it right and make sure I got it on there good. Yeah. So these are my three spider codes. Of course, that one's not real. That's the Delica. Uh, this is, I guess, is some kind of a Delica. I don't know. It's old. And there you go. Fake, real, and real. Uh, hope this helps anyone that has been duped into buying a fake Carahawk and you you actually like the knife. Like I like I said, I actually like it. You know, it's. And the best part about it is, is I contacted the eBay vendor that sold it to me. And here's the kicker. I didn't expect any money back. I didn't contact him to say, you know, I wasn't angry really. I just, it's more of a FYI. You know, just giving the guy the benefit of the doubt. So was, he may not have known it was a fake. I think he did because the picture he posted, this had a, this was a black clip and it was on this side. So live and learn. But he's going to give me a 40% refund this week, which I think is pretty cool. I only paid about $120 for this knife to start with. And copy or not, for this knife, that's a damn good price. You know, for a wave feature, this does feel like, you know, putting it against, putting it, to, you know, beside this one, the blade feels like it's VG10. If it's not, it's a damn good imitation. That's all I'll say. A little stropping made it as sharp as my delicates. 
the knife is functional there's no liner lock it's a regular uh, you know lock back blade which I like I think these are um, to me they're stronger they work better than line locks I don't know if I'm wrong I'm, I'm just wrong but I prefer the old school you know push button locks um, this knife has not failed to deploy it has not failed in anything I've done and uh, you could probably still find one on eBay if you're interested and if you want to change the, the clip over that's how you do it just get you some glue put it in the right spots push down let it sit 24 hours and you're good to go alright guys thank you for watching that is my Spyderco fake Carahawk wrap up I will not be talking about this knife anymore, so hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace. Say my name. We'll see you.